Hello everyone, welcome back to Sebros. So today in this video, we will be talking about the best anti-detect browser that is in Cognition that basically help you to create multiple social account and multiple advertisement account like Google ad, Facebook ad, so that you can earn more money by creating and having multiple account. So you need to come to this website that is incognition.com. It's totally safe and reliable. Once you come here, you get an option of a start your free trial. You have to click on it. Now here you will be getting some kind of plan like the starter plan that is absolutely free in which you can save up to 10 browser profile with the regular support that is absolutely free. Then you have the entrepreneur plan, professional plan and the multinational plan. So after evaluating the service, if you're really happy with it, you can go and upgrade your plan and you will be getting a promo code in the description. And if you apply that, you will be getting the 20% off on this pricing. All right. So once you come here, you have to click on try for free now. Then click on proceed to check out because we are not going to add anything here. So that is another best part. You don't have to add any kind of debit card or credit card information. Now here you have to fill up your information like your name, last name, company name, your region and the email address. Then you have to click on next. And if you are going with a paid version, then here you have to add the promo code that you will find in the description. And then finally, you have to click on next. Now check the box of I have read and agree to the website, then click on subscribe. All right, so once you get this kind of page, you have to click on download that is on the very top in the menu section. Click on download and here you can download this application, this website for Windows and for the Mac as well. I am using Windows so I can go and click on download under the Windows section. Once downloaded, you have to run the setup. I have already installed. So let me quickly open the applications. I don't want that the video should be too lengthy. So once you come here, it asks you to log in. So you need to enter the information like your login detail. So let me quickly type my login detail and password. Then you have to click on sign in. And then finally, you will be in this interface in the application now. So this is how it looks like. I will be explaining you everything about their menu and how it works. So do not get confused. Have some patience, watch the video till the end and you will really love this feature. Now, once you come here, it says all profile profile management. So you have to click on profile management. I have already created one account over here, one profile. I will show you that how you can create more. Okay. So what you have to do, you have to click here on new profile. And then you have to give name and that totally depends for what purpose you are using it. All right. So for example, if I want to use multiple discord account, so I will type here discord one. Then there is a group section. If you want to categorize it, then you can categorize it. Then it asks you what kind of operating system you want to make it. However, you are using this application on your Windows PC, but still you can access this discord application through your Mac or Linux. So if I want that this Discord application should run in Mac OS, then I have to click on Mac. Then it says the version number. If you want to choose the browser version, you can choose it from here. Then from the left menu option, you will see some kind of setting. The first one is the proxy. If you want to go with any kind of proxy, then you have to choose here that what kind of proxy you're using. Then you have to type the proxy number, then proxy username, password to in order to connect it. So you have to fill all this information if you want to have some proxy. Then you have the time zone. You can just enable it. It will automatically take it according to the IP. Then you have a web RTC. Then you have geolocation. If you want to give the geolocation, you can enable it. That will be automatically detecting based on the IP address. Then there are some advanced options like navigator. So if you want to choose some different resolution, then you can choose it from here. Then you have the extension. So let's say that if you want any kind of extension for that browser, then you can paste the web store link over here, the link of that extension. And then there is another option of fonts. If you want to make some changes with the font, then you can do it. Media devices, then you have hardware, then you have DNS. If you want to enable the custom DNS, then you can enable it and enter the IP address of the DNS server that you want to use and then other section. So these are the settings that you can apply. And once you are done, then you have to click on create profile that is on the very right hand side. And now you will see that profile has been created. So now what I will do, I will create some more profile and then I will show you that how you have to work on it. Okay. So right now I have only one discord profile. Let me quickly create some more. Okay. 
now you can see that I have created three different Discord profile. Now this can be anything. As I said, for example, I took Discord. This can be your Google AdWords. This can be any kind of crypto account. This can be your Facebook account, anything. So for example, I took Discord. You can create for any other. So I have created three different profile. You can create up to 10 account in a free version. And if you need more than that, then you have to go with the paid version. So now how it basically works, what you have to do on the very right side of it, you have to click on start. This will be launching now and you can see that I'm getting a new screen now here. So I have one Discord profile over here and then I can open the another one. And then I will open the third one. So now I have three different account, okay, three different profile, three different browsers. You can see that. So now if I want to open three different Discord accounts, so I will go ahead type here discord.com. Then I can open Discord on the different profile as well. And then I can open Discord here as well. Okay. So you can see I have three different Discord uh, pages here and I can now log into three different Discord account using this browser. Okay. So there is no limitation now that from your one computer, you can only log into one Discord account. So if you want to use multiple Discord account, you can take the help of this anti-detect browser. Similarly, if you want to run multiple Google AdWord account or Facebook account, then you can open 10 different profile and create 10 different Facebook or a Google AdWord account and then run multiple ad account. Okay, so that is the major benefit of this anti-detect browser that help you and it doesn't get detected. So I have already tested this. I just ran around seven or eight Facebook ad account using this incognition uh, anti-detect browser the best part was that I never got detected and there was no problem and it's totally reliable and you can enjoy it on your PC or your laptop all right so there are many other settings that you can do so let me show you that if you want to make some kind of note then you can click on the profile you can make some kind of note that can help you so that in next time whenever you start your anti-detect browser it can remind you next you can click on the three dot on the very right of it then you can edit the profile you can bookmark or you can just force the stop whatever you want to do. So that was a quick video guys and hopefully this anti-detect browser will surely work for you. If you are really looking for some kind of good anti-detect browser you should definitely go with this. I have already tested and it's totally reliable and safe you can enjoy it too. If you want to go with the paid version do not forget to use my promo code that you will find in the description and if you found this helpful do not forget to like and subscribe and for any question any problem let me know in the comment section till then take care bye bye